Well, the explosive claims from Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez about conditions inside a migrant facility at our border are now being refuted. And there was this delegation of seven pastors who toured the same Texas holding center, and they say that they had a much different experience. And joining me now with what he saw with his own eyes as a member of that delegation is Pastor Tony Stewart. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, Heather, thank you for having me today. Yeah. You know, we went on Friday, and we really did not go as Republican or Democrats. We really went on a humanitarian uh, mission. You know, our business is people. Every right. week I have the awesome opportunity to minister to over 60 nationalities. So our church, this is something really at the core and the heart of who we are. But when we arrived, first we encountered border agents, ICE agents, even military personnel, all compassionate, passionate about what they were doing. And that's even different, you know, just to begin with, than what we heard from Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez in describing them. She was actually fearful. You know, the first agent we um, encountered, mm -hmm. he teared up when he began to tell us about the burden and what they're doing. I mean, they weren't hired to care for children, right. uh, but they've taken this on, you know, yeah. as a role. And, and Medical you know, practitioners yeah. at this point, taking care of children. Changing diapers. Yeah. I mean, oh. things like that that they weren't right. tr even trained to do, mm -hmm. but they've taken this mission and this mandate and, and they're doing and it. And the majority of them are Hispanic as well? They are. Very few that we encountered were not Hispanic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you got into the facility, what did you see? You know, we had access to every area of the facility. We had access to the offices. We had access to, you know, the kitchen area, mm -hmm. the storage areas, and even where the children were being detained. And every area was clean. Every area was kept well. Every area was organized. There was food. There was clothing. There was showers. Right. Um, you know, the children were playing. They were laughing. Uh, much different than what I read. I went in with an open mind right. because what I'd read up to this point, you know, painted much different picture. And then what we heard, uh, let's listen to what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez had to say, and then I want you to respond to this. They put them in a room with no running water, and these women were being told by CBP officers to drink out of the toilet. They were drinking water out of the toilet. Okay, so that comment right there outraged people. Did you see anything like that? Were people drinking out of toilets? You know, I heard those same comments. We watched them uh, mm -hmm. there in Tampa. Where we were at. But, you know, much different than what we saw. I, I don't know what happened in three days. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine it being that much different. They knew this group was coming, mm -hmm. so I would imagine they were ready. Um, what we saw was much different than what was said in this interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw nothing like this. I saw children that were... Uh, being well cared for, children that seemed happy. Some were playing soccer, watching videos. I mean, there were areas for recreation. And so why do you think the discrepancy, you know, what we're hearing from lawmakers like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, because she's not the only one, uh, you know, why what they're taking away from it is so different? You know, the reality, Heather, it's not a great situation. We're at, in a crisis. Right. And how we deal with this, you know, I, I would urge Congress and the president, let's come together and make this work. But I think these border agents are doing the best they can in this circumstance. Mm -hmm. I think it's been over politicized. I think it's been for a know, long yeah, time. It's it just boiled to a point. And yeah. this week it's exploded, you yeah. know, but I will say that when we were there, it was much different than what I expected. And well, we went with open minds. Well, those are encouraging words. Uh, Pastor Stewart, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having yeah. me. Have a great Fourth of July, too, you by too. the way. All right.